Illuminati, what the rowing it down? The second episode of our Lord of the Rings Hearts of Iron 4 gameplay, and um, it's been what two weeks? I have no idea what was going on. Apparently, though, we were getting ready to invade Gondor. Um, we got our two bros with us here. Isengard has not joined us. Uh, and apparently I can't get them to at this point. Gondor is in an alliance with Rohan. And I think... Yeah, we even tried to go at Isengard through the focus tree and they wouldn't join us. Oh shit. Time. Nice, I, I didn't miss it. Alright, we've got till May. To get that done. I gotta remember to keep looking at the calendar or I will be screwed. So anyways, I guess we will go ahead and start this up and um, are all my troops in place for this? Uh, not quite. Oh, something has went down. Isengard joined more Bashkam. What the hell is more Bashkam? Isengard declared war on the kingdom of Rohan. Oh! This is the time to invade Gondor. They are in an alliance. I will let that run for a little bit. So Gondor pulls some troops off this front, and then I will go ahead and invade Gondor. So, alright, here is more Bashkam. It's got three territories. Kingdom of Angmar, Inidwaith, and Isengard. Alright, like I said, we'll let that run for a little bit till Gondor pulls some troops off of there, and then we will go ahead and get our invasion going. Okay, so it looks like Eisen... Alright, we've established control over the south. I didn't even know that's what we were doing. I don't even know what that does. They've already joined us. Okay, I'm about to go ahead and launch here because they're starting to drive into the Kingdom of Gondor. Let's go ahead and grab the fate of Menace Morgul because if it goes down to... If we grant autonomy, then we will get the uh, a king for a kingdom and we'll get divisional attack plus 10%. All right, guys, we're ready. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I hope I turn... Yeah, I, I was going to say, I hope I turn the instant war back on. All right, here we go. Declaration of war. And let's watch Gondor get their ass kicked. Oh, they have no troops. Why would you... <laughs> Holy shit, look at that ass kicking. Uh oh, the ants are best. Saruman cut down a few too many trees. Entwood declared war on Isengard. Okay, they want a non aggression pack. They want to join us. That's cool. They want a non-aggression pack, non-aggression pack, and they want to join us. All right. I mean, just a complete ass kicking. Isengard's kicking their ass. Faramore is dead. The shit is not looking good. I mean, looks good for us, not for them. I might as well go declare war on Rohan, unless I've already... Yeah, I'm already at war with him. I need some plans to go ahead and invade. They seem to have a pretty decent defense down here. Alright, is it May? It's almost May. I think I'm going to hold off on choosing something just to make sure. Maybe, maybe that'll help remind me that I need to search for the ring if I don't pick anything till May. Alright, it's collapsing down here. They did finally pull in some troops, though, but it doesn't appear to be helping that much. Damn, Rohan is going into Isengard. What the hell is going on? Holy shit, what a... 
I attacked and then they start losing. That makes no sense. All right, it is now May. We can try to intercept the ring. They're putting, they're actually putting up a little bit of a fight. I gotta, I gotta give it to them. They're actually trying. Boom! We have done it. We have found the ring. No debuff for us. Mordor finds the one ring. Mordor authorities claim to have recovered the one ring. Reportedly, the ring has been in the hands of a Shire Hobbit when a Mordor task force recovered it at the Dead Marshes. The One Ring is a historical trinket of the Dark Lord Sauron. It belongs in a Mordor museum, claimed Mordor spokesperson Mouth of Sauron. Nice! The Nazgul's have found the ring. That is badass. I wonder what happens now. I mean, we took a debuff. If we don't find it, what happens if we find it? Anything? I guess not. Well, we did it, bros. Uh, now let's go ahead and grant autonomy to Minas Morgul. It does look like we might get Gondor to capitulate here pretty soon. We've just got a massive army. Although Rohan is putting up a little bit more of a fight. We do get our heavy... Panzer Army, whatever that would be. Heavy Ballistas, maybe? I don't know. Something badass. Oh, I know what that is. I know what it is. It's those big-ass war elephants. Exactly. Uh, bros, don't, don't do something stupid here. Just head that way. Before you get yourself cut off. Alright, what army was here? Right, we can give them new orders. They cleared out the pocket. We have yet to penis trait Rohan though. They they got they got a pretty good defense set up here. But I got my heavy war elephants coming in. In fact, let's go ahead and give them some orders here. Actually they already had a front line. Uh, let's have them spearhead right here first. Then we'll have them go to Helm's Deep. Our line down here is looking good. What? How is Isengard going to capitulate? All right, what in the hell is this? The Fellowship of the Ring. Uh, I found the ring. Lord Elrond's summit at Rivendell concluded earlier this week with the formation of a new special task force named the Fellowship of the Ring. Wow, how original. Purpose is unknown. The size is small. Ha! I've been there, bros. So I don't actually know what's going on. Rivendell's intent has been more than clear. This is an openly declared terrorist cabal designed to instill fear into the good and peaceful people of Mordor. Unacceptable. Right? Mordor has been absolutely peaceful this entire time. And now we got some asshole elves trying to instill some fear. I'm not with that shit. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do a king for a kingdom. We have finally broken into Rohan. Yep. We're starting to get a push into Rohan now. We're going to go um, give Isengard back to the Isengard people. See how peaceful Mordor is? We are giving land back to the rightful owner. Imperial 
in a breath as capitulated. Uh, wow, what is going on? Now look at what I gotta do. Stupid asses. Okay, it looks like the uh, southern pocket here has been cut off. We will do the classic every orc in maneuver. And I guess there is some... Oh, we got cut off. I guess there are some human mercenaries as well. Oh, we have a pocket here. Everybody crash in. Wipe that shit out. Save our bros down here. Bros don't let bros get encircled. Alright, well, I think we're going to need new orders here. Um, we've got beyond these walls or impassable territory, so let's drop some new orders and finish Rohan and Gondor for good. Okay, I've drawn up new plans, as you can see. I'm thinking this, if I can take all this, the rest of Gondor doesn't look like there's much there. They should capitulate. I got my heavy war elephants, Panzer Division, going for Helm's Deep. Um, I doubt they capitulate with the fall of Helm's Deep. But anyways, let's go ahead and get this started. All right, we got a king for a kingdom. And it looks like our war elephants are making short work of Rohan. Minas Morgul. Uh, oh yeah, here they are. What's up, bros? Damn. How generous of Mordor to give up part of their land. See how peaceful the people of Mordor are? It amazes me at how peaceful they are. Okay, so now what are we going to grab? This is air stuff. I don't give a shit about that. Uh, more preparations. That just adds land forts and shit. Um, let's go ahead and reach out to Angmar, I guess. What is this? All right, the r does that mean if you have the ring? I'm gonna unleash Sauron. I didn't. I guess I didn't know that was. Oh, that might have not been lit up because I didn't have the ring, right? That makes sense. Maybe I don't. I don't. I don't exactly know what this shit means. All I know is I got the ring. Bitch slap Frodo. All right. It looks like Helm's Deep is about to fall. They should have never, they should have never, uh, you know. All right, it looks like Helm's Deep is about to fall. It was a, it was a bad spot to, um, a bad last ditch effort spot. Yep. Boom! Damn, Helm's Deep fell. And they just instantly capitulated. What is this? You're already our bros. Be bros. Look at that. I guess we gave Isengard back to Isengard. That was cool of us. Will they join us now? Oh, they're already in the faction. <laughs> Grima Worm Tongue. Okay, well, let's look at our faction now. Nice. We might even be able to grab... Kingdom of Angmar. I'm not sure about that though. I don't I don't know what's gonna happen with that. But something has happened here. How did they get Did I turn these guys on? Their orders? Yeah, what is going on, bros? 
You're about to let them link back up. We still got some small pockets here to clear up. Once we get this cleared up, we will go ahead and start invading the northern part of Gondor. And after we clear this up, I don't know what's going on down here. Nobody wants to take this. Ah, uh, here we go. I was about to say nobody wants to do anything down here. Why don't everybody go in and try to completely just just finish them off? I don't know what the big holdup is. I just don't know what's taking so long. All right, we might have actually... Do we lose troops? No. What is going on here, bros? Please. Is there just too many troops crammed into this small area is probably what's going on. I'm guessing. All right, we have unleashed Sauron. Let's go ahead and reach out to Angmar now. We're doing pretty decent, except for light tanks, but, but we don't have many divisions of those anyways. Most of our divisions are infantry, so we're doing pretty damn good there. Still trying to clear out these last few pockets here. I don't know how they've put up such a defense. Oh, they're about to get wrecked. Everybody in. Can you finally take them out? Thank you. Actually, I haven't checked this out lately. How are we doing? We have lost 430,000 men. Damn. They've lost a cool 1.4 million, though. How's our templates doing? Shit. Absolute shit. Except our medium siege orc division's got a 91%. I don't even have these. I got this. I don't even know what the hell that is. Alright, well basically we're kicking ass. Sometime. Some of the times we're kicking ass. And we're still trying to clear out the last little bit of Rohan up here. Looks like we about got that done. Oh, Isengard wants in. You're in, bros. I don't know that you have any troops, do you? Yep, we're getting it done. We're going to be coming at what's left of Gondor from two sides. Boom! Gondor has capitulated! And here's what it ended up looking like. Isengard got a little bit of land. You know, I had to share with my bros. They took an ass kick and they needed a... They needed a pick-me-up. I threw them a bone. But look at the faction now. A boom! The dark pack is taking no shit. Oh, we're at... What? Who are we at war with now? It would. Damn, we no sooner won a war than now we're at war with Entwood. All right. Um, the trees must burn. All right. We've got an invasion plan of Entwood. I've got my war elephants heading straight towards Fanghorn Forest. Um, we got nobody over here, so we're definitely going to lose some land for a while until our forces get into place. But, I don't think we're going to have a problem taking out the Ents. Um, and then we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Alright, I believe I've got everybody started up, ready for our invasion. Yes, they are. Let's go ahead and take the Ents out. Yep, they are no match for the war elephants. Poor ants. I'm sorry, bros. I'm a tree guy. I like trees. 
But you guys were dicks. You guys were asshole trees. Alright, we have reached out to Angmar. And we just about... Alright, we got Fanghorn. That should be it, right? Oh, they do got a capital. Nope, they lost that too. Uh... I don't know what's keeping them up. To be honest. Can we do like an everybody rush in to take everything, finish them off battle plan? Oh, you know what I hear? I hear arrows. I think they added arrow effects. Oh, damn! I never noticed that. They got crossbows. Look at that. I never... That must be something new, because I've never noticed that. Even the last time I played, and the last time I played... Yeah, that's pretty badass. That's good to see that they're that they're um, continuing to upgrade this, or update it, or both, perhaps. And with that, Entwood is ours. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these skins. Okay, they haven't done anything with the tanks yet. Maybe it's just the infantry. I would like to see the tanks be war elephant skins. That would be badass. Yeah, I guess it's just the infantry. Anyways, did the kingdom of Angmar join us? No, they didn't. You guys are asses. So look at the dark pact now. I would say it controls roughly, I don't know, 75, 80% of Middle Earth. I mean, we do got the Soviet Union still over here. I don't know what they're up to. We got to keep an eye on them communist dogs. Them communist dog lickers. Um, so next episode, we're going to wreck some elves. We are going to go beat the shit out of Schmog. And uh, maybe be able to wrap this up next episode. I'm not sure. I don't know how many people... Some of these countries have. Oh, they got 115. Damn. They don't got very many. All right, maybe maybe one, maybe two more episodes, and we'll have this wrapped up. Anyways, bros, if you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Select the shit. I like and subscribe, and I will see you back here for our next upload. Peace. Bruminati out. Ooh.